morning and welcome to our thought for the day. I'm glad once again you've been able to join me. I'm going to read a verse to you this morning that is well known to those that love Christ. It's found in John chapter 12 and it's verse 32. And it simply says this. It says, and if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. It's not tremendous. What a tremendous truth that is. And so I've given my little thought this morning, the little heading, a mighty magnet. A mighty magnet. There is nothing and no one that can attract like Jesus. If I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. And we know this is speaking about as he was lifted up onto the cross, be nailed to the cross in your place and, and in mine, so you would draw men. And the cross is the drawing power today in our age. We hear so much about various attractions in our world. And sadly, there are many churches that are trying to bring different attractions into the church so that people will come and hear about Christ. I heard of one not so long ago where there was an like a, a, a elder skelter put in the church by the pulpit and people were coming in, coming down this slide. Can I tell you that we don't need any new ideas or gimmicks or attractions. It is Jesus and Jesus only that we need. He is more than sufficient. But many new attractions come into our world. Again, I say there is nothing to compare with Jesus. You see, we read much about the seven wonders of the world and my children have been studying this for school. And yet I was quite amazed to see that these wonders have changed over the years. Different things come along and they're classed as the top seven wonders and so forth. But there is only one great wonder of all wonders. His name is Jesus. He will never change. There is nothing that can take its place for he is truly the greatest attraction of all time. Not only time, but for eternity also. You see, all these things pale into significance when they're put side by side with my wonderful Jesus. So if you're working for Jesus and you are trying to think of ways to attract people to Christ, think no more, for he is the attraction. Look no more for different ways. He is the attraction to draw all men in this world. For what drew you to Christ? It was the person of Christ and the offer of his wonderful salvation and the love and the grace and the mercy that he showed to you. And I'm so pleased to be able to say this hasn't changed. This still draws men today and it's the only way of true salvation. You see, if Christ was a year and nothing else, that's all we need, him and him alone. For he has held you and he will continue to hold you with those everlasting arms to whatever may come your way and to the very end and to the time when he will come and take us to be with him for all eternity. Why then should we doubt his power for others when he has done so much for you? He and he alone is the mighty magnet. New ideas and music and our intelligent and gimmicks will all draw men away from him. What we need is to draw men to him. And the only way that can happen is by using Christ himself. It must be Christ and Christ alone. And if we lift Christ high in our living and in our witness, we cannot fail. So lift Jesus up and be amazed at his power to draw all men unto himself. God help us to show Christ in our living for his glory. God bless you. Look forward to being with you tomorrow morning.